Anyway, um, speaking of uh, dickheads online, uh, this is Internet Anarchist who uh, is, is addressed in a tweet that, uh, you know, he got a false copy strike, which is really fucked up, by the way. Um, I, I From Aiden Ross, which I got as well, for the record. It was a false copy strike of a video that I'm in it. I'm in, which is fucked up. It's insane. Here's Aiden Ross celebrating the false strike. W chat. By the way, this is um Hassan's head moderator. Chat. Put a W. I don't know who this person is. I've never met this person. This person is not my head moderator. Aiden Ross somehow manages to be dumber and dumber every single fucking day. It blows my mind how he has become. Even stupider than before. He's like reaching new levels. I don't know how the fuck he's doing that. I don't even have a, I don't have a head mod. That's not a thing. For the chat, we stole eight thousand dollars from him. W. He needed that. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. W. Yes. <laughs> yes. He reached. He reached negative into like the long time ago. Uh. Wait, there was one of the quotes. Uh, Jabri actually quoted him and fucking made fun of him as well. Aiden Ross is worth so much money he'll never have to work another day in his life. Here he is celebrating one of his false copyright uh, claims that stole 8K from a YouTuber a fraction of his size. That's this disgusting abuse from YouTube's broken copyright system that needs to have consequences. Hold on, I'm just tweeting. Sorry. I said, this dude isn't my head mod. I don't know them. You false strike me as well for a video I was in, and here you are... Dumb enough to celebrate false, false copy striking people. Aiden Ross hitting new levels of stupidity I never knew were reachable. This is like literally a company known for doing false copy strikes. YouTube is aware that they know uh, that they are knowingly doing false copy strikes. And YouTube doesn't give a fuck for the record. YouTube literally did nothing to this company. They, they have been doing this. Thumb Media Affiliate is the one that also came after me as well with Aiden. It's the one that Aiden is currently celebrating in this fucking tweet. Here, here you have it. I, I, identical, for the record. A copyright claim was created for content. Andrew Tate cannot handle my questions. Uh, he claimed it. Uh, Thumb Media claimed it on behalf of Aiden. This is the video. I'm right here. The entire content of this video is me debating Andrew Tate. If anything, I should be able to fucking content claim Aiden Ross for trying to fucking pose this as his own content as all he did was sit there like a fucking dumbass. I'm literally in the middle of the fucking video. Are you out of your fucking mind, dude? And his dumbass fucking fan base turned around. This has 1.5 million views on my YouTube channel. And they're just trying to fucking milk it. They're trying to take these views... And trying to make money off of the video that absolutely is is uh, uh, is a video that I could claim is mine. It's crazy. I'm on the video. Like, that is the next level of, of uh, copyright bullshit, okay? It's not even like I'm reacting to the fucking video. I'm not literally... I'm not reacting to someone else's video, which is certainly... Aiden Ross tried to retort this by saying it's actually his video since his socials are in the corner. Saw a clip of it a couple days ago. Yeah, I should have never been kind enough to keep his fucking socials in the corner. That's what, that was my problem. That was my issue, I guess. I never signed a fucking release. Suck my cock. I'll see you in court. You stupid fuck. You fucking imbecile. You absolute fucking dumbass. Holy shit. You stupid little bitch. What a fucking idiotic, what an absolutely idiotic baboon-like thing to fucking do. Like, oh, dude, oh, yeah, you, you signed a release? What release did I sign? You stupid shit. Are you, did you pay me to appear on that fucking Zoom call? No, you didn't. Suck my dick. You don't own that fucking content. It's quite literally me in the fucking video. See you in court like you're going to do shit? What do you mean? You think, I, you think I'm not going to pursue this? You think I'm not going to fucking counter? Are you stupid? This is such an objectively incorrect thing to do. And this fucking dumbass is also, 
again, stupid enough to like do this. Not only is he stupid enough to do this, he's done it to so many people. And most importantly, perhaps most significantly, he's dumb enough to gloat that he's false copy striking people. You fucking idiots. Look at him. W. Chat, by the way, this is um Hassan's head moderator, chat. Put a W in the chat. We stole $8,000 from him. W. He needed that. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. W. Yes. <laughs> yes. How fucking stupid can you be? How absolutely idiotic can you be that you're like false striking people and celebrating it? But here's the thing. With Aiden, he's in the gutter, right? He's already shit. He's already dog shit. He, he already knows that people don't like him at this point. And he's made more money than fucking God at this point, okay? The reality is that the crypto gambling casino that runs steak paid him a fucking fat bag. So now... So now, no matter what happens, Hassan Abi has been found banned from YouTube and Twitch... God, his fucking fan base is so incredibly stupid. Yeah, he's already made a shitload off of crypto rug pulls about fucking, you know, uh, uh, getting his dumbass fan base to, uh, hooked on, on gambling and numerous other things. And yet he's still over here gloating fucking false copy strikes. It's so, it's so incredibly dumb to brag about it too on top of that. Imagine being so stupid that you literally self-snitch. Oh, my God. Oh, what a fucking idiot, dude. They never go to court. They threaten until you give up or back off in a month after you counter twice. Yeah, 100%. It would be fucking so unimaginably stupid to go to court uh, over something like this when you have a, a false claim here. The video I posted and a lot of the other people in this story posted are fair use videos, which are completely allowed under United States copyright law. You are allowed to show a piece to critique it. You are allowed to show someone else's clip while you're doing a commentary video, especially yeah. if you're reacting to it. Do you guys want to know why? Do you guys want to know why that's like legally permissible, by the way? Because someone who happens to be my fucking podcast co-host made it legal precedent, okay? His name is Ethan fucking Klein. And his court case, quite literally, is taught in law books now. Like, it's copyright law. It's, it's, it's literally ridiculous to do some dumb shit like this. On top of that, there are certain rules that, like, every content creator knows not to fucking break. Ben Shapiro, Steven Crowder, and the like will usually not turn around and fucking uh, false strike someone because, like, I'm responding to their fucking videos. No matter how big of a shithead they might be, they understand that it's like an unspoken rule among content creators because that would be ridiculous. That would be insane to do. However, there are scumbags out there who don't give a fuck about that, okay? Who don't give a fuck about the unspoken rules that every content creator understands. There's a reason why so many people lose their fucking minds. Like, so many random YouTubers will get incredibly fucking mad about this because it would ruin the entire space, Okay, that's what Aiden Ross is doing. Now, Gavin McGinnis did this to me, and no one really gave a shit. Why? One, because it was behind a paywall, technically. And two, I didn't pursue it. I didn't really care enough about it. And he's a fucking Nazi. You know what I mean? Aiden Ross, on the other hand, is maybe a little bit better, supposed to be a little bit better than an out and about fucking Nazi, which is precisely the reason why, especially as someone with like an online uh, presence outside of Kick. Okay, he should know better than to do some dumb shit like this, but he doesn't. Especially if you're editing it, there is so much nuance that goes into this, but these Cardigan Media and Aegis TM people seem to just be claiming literally anyone who mentioned iShow Speed or talked about him for even a moment. And when I posted this, I took it to Twitter. So let's see what happened over there. I said there's a company called Thumb Media Affiliate that's been striking commentary YouTubers who talk about iShow Speed. I'm not sure if this company is actually affiliated with Speed or if they're just falsely striking videos. I DM Speed to see if he can confirm. And that's true. I DM Speed. I DM Cardigan Media. I DM everyone I possibly could to try and get a hold of Speed and see if this is legit. Nobody would answer me. I couldn't get a hold of anyone at all. 
and it seemed like I was just screwed, right? So I had a decision to make. I could either roll over and let the claim stay on my channel, taking all the revenue from the video I posted. I didn't know if the video would take off or not. I didn't know if it would get a lot of views. And to me, it wasn't about the money. It never was about the money. To me, it was about the principle of the whole thing. Like I made something, I put work into it. Whatever comes, I should get it. Not somebody else who had nothing to do with it. And the thing that's really screwed up about YouTube's copyright system is when you get claimed like this, they don't have to provide any information yeah. to whether or not they're even a legitimate or a real company. So this created all of this speculation about all these people saying, hey, I'm I see what Hassan said. He said, I'm L. Someone trying to copy me with my own content. Is that T-Pain? Hassan can give me direct, bro. I'll make sure that's taken care of. It's my new editor, probably, bro. W editor? Oh, no, tweet. it's not T-Pain. <laughs> Yo, you guys are going crazy on this tweet. Aiden, coming Aiden this W. Is, uh... Yo, W. I don't know <laughs> Yo, y'all gonna... are going crazy on this shit. My, my editor said, Hassan is tripping. He literally posted your content. Look at the tweet. His video says your watermark. Let me see. I was kind enough to literally fucking leave, by the way, which was so, which was so incredibly stupid of me and my editors to like leave his fucking socials. It's like courtesy. You know what I mean? He said your watermark. The fuck do you mean? Dog, I'm in the video. What the fuck are you saying? It's transformative. It's not a replacement or a container for the original video in its market, which means the audience for it is not the same audience. Bro, it's not even transformative. It's me. It's me, me. There's no transformative in that video. It's literally just me, okay? Here, this is the video, dude. This is the video what? that they copy striked, dude. Uh, yeah, Hustlers University is a product I stand by. There's a reason we have so much, so many fantastic reviews. We just had our one-year anniversary today, actually. I did a stream to the 110,000 students. Had our one how make the argument that this is Aiden Ross's video, please, to me. Like, uh, he's he's he's, spoke, so he's speaking a lot is. in it. You've never seen it. Yeah, look at look how transformative Self. this is. You're just going based on what you've decided, and that's that's completely fine. You're not. Also, I saw you uh, talk about joining the Marine Corps as a pussy shit, which is another rare W for you. But outside of that, it's usually just a sequence of L's. Wait, I was wondering. About him, Andrew Tate fuck? doesn't have. Uh, Andrew Tate doesn't have. Uh, any like he has a lot of social media footprint but not necessarily a lot of accounts how is this happening i, I wondered how is it. other people so they can get it. like striking this is so scummy dude like imagine striking this is incredibly fucking scummy it's like my editors edited the fuck out of this video and it's also quite literally me versus andrew tate it's a fucking zoom call that is so psychotic. Isn't his argument similar to the photographer and the model argument of who owns this video? Who owns the photo? Yeah, there are, you know, sign, uh, there's, there's paperwork that distinguish that. There is no paperwork in that situation. Make more money. I already make too much money. I'm good. So, no. No, the product I stand by. There's a reason we have so much, so many fantastic reviews. We just had our one year anniversary today, actually. I did. did they search through AC's VOD to see if any of his channels didn't post it too? This is clearly targeted. Yeah, I know. This stream to the 110,000 students. Had our one year anniversary today. 110,000 students in one year. So we're doing also, I love that even in this community, even in this fucking community, we still have people who are like, wait a minute, hold up. Let's give him. Let's give him the, the fucking, uh, let's make it seem like Aiden actually has like a reasonable argument here. Like, what do you mean? He openly says he targeted me. He says his editor fucking targeted me and, and they think it's like totally fucking valid. What the fuck are you talking about? Why the fuck are you sitting here and being like, wait, hold up. Let, let's, let's think about this really quick, uh, really quick. Uh, let's think about this clearly now. Maybe there is a validity to it. Yeah, I just realized that. Look at this shit. My fucking socials are here and you uploaded my video. <laughs> what the fuck? You stole my content. My content, dude. Insane. My content? You're not even doing anything, you fucking donkey. You're just sitting there going, uh, uh, on God, W, W. My editor's not only fucking edited this video. You. My editor's not only edited this video, but it's a video between me and Andrew Tate. That's You're just not doing anything. You're reacting to it.
literally in the fucking Zoom call. It is mind-boggling, dude. There's no fucking release forms on this shit. It is such a fucking idiotic thing to just, like, claim that, like, you own. I think his argument is that you grabbed it off his VOD since it has his socials because we didn't screen record it on my end, okay? That's that's the only difference. This was after I was live. I was kind enough to go on his fucking... Uh, I was kind enough to also appear on his fucking broadcast. That's it. That's an insane fucking argument to make. It doesn't change anything. There is no validity to that stance. The only reason why he's able to do it is literally because he can target motherfuckers and copy strike them maliciously as you are watching a video of him and fucking i show speed doing the same shit using the same fucking company if i had signed a contract like we're not even talking about the morality we're talking about the legality here right if i had signed a contract from a legal point of view that like he has full ownership i give away full ownership of this content of my own commentary to him then he would have at least some kind of fucking ip argument to make but because I don't fucking have that, it doesn't matter. XQC himself also fucking posted the entire thing, and yet for some reason, he's not copy striked. I wonder why. Perhaps because he doesn't want to go after fucking the juicers. He just wants to go after me so he can be like, yeah, on God, W, big W. I came across the, I went across him. I'm glad that this is, uh, you know, enough content for Aiden Ross for a week so that he's like not watching his sister get fucked on OnlyFans and mulling over it again and again and again, or his like ex girlfriend, which by the way, there's no issue with, but it, apparently it's a big deal for Aiden Ross. So, you know, incredible stuff, dude. Big W's, boys, W's, boys. On God, we did it. His sister and his girlfriend, by the way, multiple girlfriends. I'm getting claimed. I don't know if this company is even affiliated with iShow Speed. And this kind of came to a boiling point because people were really upset. A lot of people thought that their favorite YouTubers were being claimed by some random company that had nothing to do with anything. I posted video. Yeah, yeah. These guys fucking suck, dude. I mean, they're such pieces of shit. It's such, it's, it's fucking ridiculous. Um, there's also like, when you go on the eligibility, okay, on the channel dashboard, it says, Dispute claim, Andrew Tate and Aiden exposes Hassan and XQC live on stream. So that's what he's saying. My video is called Andrew Tate cannot handle my questions, right? 1.5 million views. Remember that the following are not valid reasons to dispute a content ID claim. It says, uh, underneath it says, uh, I own a copy of the song. I'm not making money from the video or I gave credit to the copyright owner. I checked the little tiny check mark underneath that says my dispute isn't based on any of the reasons above. I would still like to dispute this copy content ID claim. So in it, you have four main options at that point. You have four options that you can engage with. You can say original content. The content claimed in my video is my original content and I own all the rights to it. Uh, I have permission or a license to use the content claimed in my video Copyright exceptions such as fair use. I have significantly transformed the content claimed in my video. The video is protected by fair use, fair dealings, or similar exceptions of copyright. Public domain content claimed in my video is the public domain and no longer protected by copyright. What, what can I say here? I'm in the fucking video, dog. This is me in the video. Like, here, this is the, this is the disputed parts of the video. Let's play it. Okay. I'm following the steps. Everything, I, everything you told me to did, I did, and it just, it just well made. $50 might not come across like a big amount of money, but over the over uh, 110,000 people, that's a lot of fuck. Just now, sign wow. up, people. And the fans channel will finally give in. It'll happen time and time again. Bye -bye, chat. Okay. I'm like, what? Do I say original content? The content, I claim that video is my original content and I own all the rights to it. <clears throat> I'm going to say that. Confirm everything is yours. Even if you filmed or edited the video yourself, think about whether you included someone else's work. Did you record from a TV screen or include other video clips? If so, the video isn't entirely your original content. Okay, so why don't you give this warning to the person who is copy striking? You know what I mean? Give this warning to the copy striker. Do you? They do law is just ignored. Find out who claimed the content. Creators are represented by companies. Understand where you fit in. If your content is popular enough to have been reused in another video or TV show, then it's possible that the owner of that show has claimed your video in error. If you created the content, it's appropriate to dispute the claim. The content claimed in my video is my original creation. It does not include anyone else's work. I mean, that's not true, though. The problem is it's not true. We foolishly gave... Why didn't you click that link? You gave him credit in the first stage since you included his watermark? Because that's a trap. 
So including someone else's watermark doesn't change the reality that they can copy strike you. They give you those first three fucking uh, uh, things so that they can turn around and say, oh, well, that doesn't mean anything. You literally gave someone else the, 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 the license. It's basically, it's not a watermark. Why not fair use? Because I'm not actually looking at someone else's video and responding to it and reacting to it. The problem is copyright law isn't fully definitive on this type of novel collaborative content. I know, which is why he's fucking up the bag for himself. That's the point. This will open up an opportunity if it goes to courts for people that he collaborates with without signing a fucking release form to sue him. So every Instagram model that has ever appeared on Aiden Ross's streams could turn around and sue him for every fucking dollar that he has. Do you understand? Because he's not sending release forms before having people appear on his fucking streams. So, hey, Aiden, have fun with that. I will literally personally pay the legal fees of other fucking Instagram models and people who now hate Aiden Ross who have appeared on his stream to sue him for every fucking dime he has if he keeps this dumb shit up, okay? I will go and work with lawyers to ensure that that happens. There's a reason why YouTubers don't touch this, okay? There's a reason why YouTubers don't touch this because it would open up a legal battle that would be bad for everyone, okay? This is why false striking is fucking stupid. That's the problem. Bro is butthurt. I'm the one who's butthurt, you fucking idiot. He's the one who's butthurt. He's the one who's false striking. There was a time and place when like, there was a time and place when people would literally look to this and go, oh, that's scummy. But it turns out now we're at a point where it's like, oh, no, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if this person is being a scumbag. I like him. On God, he's W. You're a fucking L, so it doesn't matter. This used to be looked down upon for this very specific reason, for this very same reason. But unfortunately, because there's so many fucking dumb idiots here uh, that are uh, in the fandoms, of other dumb fucking uh, brain-broken dipshits. Could this be an issue beyond Aiden Ross? I mean, he acted mean and all, but legally maybe the agency tries to claim... No, no, he knows that his editor did it. Bro, this is Aiden Ross we're talking about. Save your energy for actual haters, King. Fuck him. No, this is so fucking frustrating, dude. I mean, it's like, it's ridiculous. He's like, he, he has so much fucking money, so he thinks he can bully people like myself and others that do not have enough finances to fight back fuck that shit dude are you joking look at how many fucking smaller content creators he is like look at how many smaller content creators he's done this to that he's like celebrating as a fucking major w it's disgusting anyway but yeah it's not about me it's about fucking uh smaller content creators who cannot uh fight back against this kind of uh you know ridiculous copy strike abuse this is, this is a great video showing the extent that like Aegis Media or the Thumb Media affiliates go to copy strike people falsely. Okay. Um, Aiden, is, Aiden is doing that as well uh, and, and weaponizing it as well, except he's, I guess, doing it exclusively against people he doesn't like because it doesn't seem like he's doing it to other people. Because like here. Bro, there's no shot i i destroyed andrew tate featuring aiden ross and hassan like it's the same exact oh, fucking video <laughs> but on xqc's channel it's like copy striking this you know what i mean if he has ownership over this entire call which he doesn't he would have to fucking copy strike xqc as well which he can't but it's the exact same thing that's, Look, that's completely fine. You're not going to reduce our subscriber number. Every single time I do one of these Twitches, we get three, four, five, six thousand. But of course, he doesn't have his fucking socials. He, he doesn't have Ada Ross's socials on there, so it doesn't even matter. Not only is the video transformative because we made edits to it, but it's literally me. It's me talking to Andrew Tate. YouTube ags y'all to stop spamming about these emails uh, about the cardigan and the thumb media affiliate. That is me. Just wanted to let y'all know everybody know that. So. But y'all guys, please stop. Thank y'all. Love y'all. There it is. It's been him the entire time. So the whole time people were saying, this company is fake. They don't represent Speed. Speed would never do that. It's him. The entire time, this guy no who's a multi-
No way. I thought he didn't fucking know. No way. Turns out he was doing it on purpose. Because they're such fucking scumbags, dude. Like, it's just so frustrating. Like, there are things that I excuse with respect to, like, age when people are like, oh, you know, they don't know any better. Oh, like, he's young. He'll get better at, like, uh, understanding certain concepts. But this is transparent greed. You know what I mean? Like, you're a multi-fucking millionaire, and you're milking small content creators. Like, this guy that got claimed, Jabrangus as, what, like, this is, I, I assume this might be his, like, second channel. Like, this guy's 177,000 subscribers, bro. Like, you're really going after motherfuckers with 177,000 subscribers? Like, you got 15 million subs. That shit is so whack, bro. That it, it it's so fucking gross. Like, how much more money do you fucking need, dog? That you're like literally trying to milk people like this. Oh, he's just a kid. He's just a kid. It's evil as fuck. It's so greedy. You might also own the Zoom recording as a participant. If yeah, there's of course one platform I do. we've all used. Of course I fucking own it. I'm in the fucking video, man. That's crazy. Like, it's literally... I could have just very easily fucking filmed it on my own side. It's just like this was done for... Chat. This literally was done because it's just easier. That's it. That's it. That's the only difference. That's the only reason. And out of the pure... Courtesy, I fucking foolishly left his goddamn socials on there.